Live from Holloway Gymnasium, it's Purdue Volleyball on PurdueSports.com. Tonight, the Boilermakers welcome the Nebraska Cornhuskers to Beeland Court. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. I'm Corey Palmer alongside Josh Hill for this crucial matchup between top 25 foes. The Boilermakers come in ranked 25th in the nation. Nebraska is currently 6th. Purdue took the first meeting of the season down in Lincoln, but both of these teams have changed quite drastically since that night, Josh. Yeah, that's right, Corey. Purdue won in four sets almost exactly one month ago tonight. Boilermakers have dropped five of their eight matches since that night, including the last four. Simply put, uh, Shondell's team needs to stop the slide tonight and get a win against the top-ranked opponent, top 10. Tonight would be a great time to do that. Could well save their season. Nebraska, meanwhile, since that night and losing to the Boilermakers in four sets has been red hot, pardon the pun, for the Big Red. Uh, they haven't lost since that night. Yeah, age straight for the Cornhusker, including five wins of ranked opponents. Coach Cook, squad peaking at the right time, it would seem, at the end of the season here. Big Ten title still on the line, looking for revenge and against Boilermakers. So we've got your starting lineups for you as these two teams huddle up one final time before the... Uh, Opening serve, first for Nebraska. Outside it will be Amber Rolfson and Katie Rolfson, along with uh, middle Cecilia Hall. Megan Haggerty gets the starting nod as well. Setter will be Mary Paul Miller, Kelsey Robinson on the outside as well, with the libero being Justine Wong Arantes. For the Boilermakers, uh, Carly Kramer, the libero, up front to start. It will be, well, on the court right now, is uh, Val Nickel, Sam Epinesa, Kiki Jones, and uh, Catherine Rabarczyk. Fayette Elijah checks out for Kramer. And in the back row also is uh, senior defensive specialist Hillary Fox. Fox has uh, seen some time in recent weeks as the libero as well as Carla Kramer has missed a little bit of time with injury. Fox back to uh, her DS role and Kramer in the different colored jersey. She will get things going for the Boilermakers with the opening serve. Wong Arantes comes in for Nebraska as well. Kramer serves right at her counterpart, handled well by Nebraska and put away by Megan Haggerty. Yeah, Haggerty's gonna be there all night long. Haggerty runs the slide really well behind the setter and uh, Val Nichols gonna have to get a little bit better at seeing that come right at her on the right back there. Nickel quick set to Jones. Can't get on top of it. It's the back row attack from Robinson. Good tap there by Epinesa. Yeah, Epinesa trying to go off speed there. Great big swing out of the back roll from Kelsey Robinson. Kelsey Robinson has a big arm going to the right back. Libro for Purdue, digging it up. So uh, Purdue good rally, scores a point there, ties it up 1-1. Cross court serve from Rabarczyk. Nebraska will just pass it over. Yeah, good did there from Fox. Great cross court swing. Nebraska plays it back over. Great save by Rolfson. Epinesa tried, uh, tried yeah. a, a little too cute there. Yeah, pretty, pretty good idea there from Epinesa. She had it open. It was wide open. She just missed it. Uh, so off speed trying to get it done for Purdue. Uh, two of their three attacks so far been off speed. So they're trying a little something different here to score some points against a tough Nebraska team. I like the idea. Wide set from Davis. Good dig by Robinson. Davis again tries to set Nickel, called for a double hit. Yeah, a tough set for Nickel there, trying to get all the way across. I think she has a thumb injury. She's probably been dealing with that uh, probably about a month now. So really high ball, lots of spin, uh, really tough to handle with your hands. So Purdue trying to get back on track, get a side out. Nickel once again down the line, gets the touch, point Purdue. Yeah, really good, good set there from uh, the Libro from Purdue. Uh, at a system, Val Nickel really had no shot. And uh, makes a great swing on the outside. Just a, a micro touch there on the right hand. Uh, we could say Rolfson, the problem is he's got a twin on him. So, 
assume that when we say Rolfson, it's either or. Either we, or. We have to have that ability tonight to Ooh. say uh, either or. So. Recovered. Bad read on that deep serve from Amanda Neal. Perfectly placed by Neal, and she gets the ace. Neal cross court at Wong Arantes. Yeah, Ralston again, good cross court swing, and then Drews hits the low hard one. We've talked a little bit about it in the past with Drews, but she really thrives on hitting the seam ball, and that time she went right at the pin block, and Nebraska didn't even have the block closed that time. Uh, pretty big seam there, and uh, Drews just missed it. Ordinarily, she doesn't on those, she gets those. Tough break for the Boilermakers. Bad receive there from Neal as it goes over. Free ball, easy ball for the Nebraska captain. Yeah, so uh, you saw there Rachel Davis going up for Purdue. Really didn't have a play. She's back row right now, so really can't play anything at the net. So Rolfson gives it right back to Purdue. That would be Katie Rolfson of the Rolfson twins. <laughs> Kiki Jones now to serve for the Boilermakers. Picks a spot right in the middle of the court. That one tailed off. Big swing from Amber Rolfson. Into the net is called on Purdue. So big swing there from Rolfson. Rolfson doesn't matter. Yeah, they called number two. So Val Nickel in the net uh, for Purdue. Uh, so she's made a couple mistakes here early off the dig and then off for uh, the net call there. Good pass up for Purdue Nicholson on the back side. Good dig Rolfson, uh, deep cross court. And a little confusion there looked like from Purdue on who was going to take that ball. Wasn't a hard shot. No, not at all. Um, Rachel Davis looked like she was a little confused on who the, who's going to take that dig. But Amanda Neal wound up going for it. Wasn't able to get it up. Val Nickel, perfect angle, great set, and she just pounds it through the floorboard. Yeah, Nickel found the seam there, uh, actually between the pin and the pin blocker. Uh, number 23, Robinson, left just, a, just enough hole for uh, Val to get that by. Nickel now will serve, cross court. Handled by Rolfson, set to Robinson, off the block, good dig by Neal. And Rabarczyk with a beauty. Yeah, Rabarczyk, great seam swing there. Robinson with a good swing outside for Nebraska. Uh, off the block, and Neal just dug it up. That's a great dig. Important for back row players always have their momentum going forward. Man, and Neal gave a great example of that right there, being able to get that ball in the air. Nickel will once again serve cross court, played by Longa Rontes into the net called again on Purdue. Yeah, so second net call there in the first eight points for Purdue. So Purdue's given Nebraska a couple here early. And I got to tell you, against the number five, six team in the country, you're not going to give a whole lot away and still be in the set. So a bad habit to get into. That was an interesting swing there by Haggerty. She got up and it looked like changed her mind, changed her angle last minute. Dangerous when your middle can do that. Yeah, great hitters, uh, especially middles like you're talking about, can go either way, left or right. And uh, the tricky ones can look left and go right and uh, vice versa. So uh, really catches the defense off guard and their ability to have a middle blocker that can shut one side down is pretty crucial. So we'll see how the matchups go so far. Fox back to serve. Quick tap over yeah, and uh, that entire back line was wide open. Yeah, that's way too easy. Uh, Wolfson there uh, got that up there. Perfect pass right to the setter, and she just dumped it straight deep. Purdue had no idea it was coming. Uh, Got to pay a little more attention than that. Robinson, monster serve. Epinesa with a good kill. Epinesa, I feel like, is going to probably have a good game tonight for Purdue just because of the fact she's so good at a system. Good set, off hands, straight to the floor. I think Epinesa is probably going to be a key for Purdue tonight. Uh, if they can stay in this match, she should have a good one. For sure. Dying serve there from Kramer. Nice play over for Purdue. They might luck out. Nebraska does well to keep this one alive. Fox with a free ball. There's Rabarczyk now cross court. Point Purdue. Yeah, great decision there from Val Nichol to set that back. She's
She's uh, back row running that modified 6-2 again. She goes back one-on-one. -on -one. The middle blocker for Nebraska, not even close. Matter of fact, she gave up on the play. So uh, that's going to be a key, too, is how well are the middle blockers for Nebraska going to be able to block on the pins. I know that's part of the game plan for Purdue is try to spread the offense as much as possible from pin to pin. And there you see Robinson, another real big swing out of the back row. She's got a cannon. Great dig by Fox. Epinesa will roll shot. Down the line, Rolfson gets it off the block. Point for Nebraska. Yeah, great swing from Rolfson there. Just takes the right hand of Kat Rabarczyk and just uses it out of bounds. Rolfson's really smart attacker. What you're talking about there earlier, being able to face angle and turn your turn your arm and shoulder and swing line. That's that's what she does really well. Tough set for Rabarczyk. She adjusts and gets it over. Rolfson and Purdue, scrappy there, just couldn't quite get it over on that last touch. Yeah, second time Rolfson's gone line there on Rabarczyk, and Rabarczyk's going to have to make that adjustment and force her to swing at something else other than line because Val Nichols playing right back defense. You give up that much line, she's going to get her head taken off. So Good read there for Purdue on the serve receive. They take the service error. Rabarczyk not going to serve. In this rotation, at least, Rachel Davis comes in. Sometimes you see Coach Shondell let Kat Rabarczyk serve, sometimes not. Davis a much more steady hand back there. Not quite as lethal, but uh, not quite as dangerous either. Good block put up by Purdue. Kramer will bump set to Epinesa. Middle to Rolfson, and into the net called again on Val Nickel. Yeah, so three net calls there from Purdue already. And uh, if you notice in that play, the roll shot from Epinesa, this key defensive moment, because uh, the outside attacker, Rolfson from Nebraska, picked that up in the middle of the floor and never got back outside. So that's a set play for them. She'll run a high ball in the middle, and really they have no outside attacker. So Purdue can bunch block all their blockers on one side, and then fourth net call there from Purdue, so uh, really sloppy defensively for the Boilermakers early on first half of the set. I don't usually uh, see the net calls. They're usually pretty subtle. That one was not. Epinesa just straight up caught the bottom of the net with her hand on her, on her uh, block attempt. You mentioned Val Nichols' thumb being banged up. It looks like she's also dealing with a left ankle issue. We're in an air cast on her left, an active ankle brace on her right. This uh, season is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, Didn't big, affect her on that play. Yeah, great, great swing there from Nickel. Yeah, if you'll see, she goes big time seam here. Ball is played up. Free ball from Nebraska. Davis puts it out there. Again, the middle from Nebraska just doesn't close. Uh, real big seam there, and, and like you talked about, that's going to be a big key. Can the Boilermakers play pin to pin? You know, can, can they spread the offense out, stay out of the middle, go pin to pin and force the middles from Nebraska to try to block all the way across the net. If that's the case, I think Nebraska's gonna struggle. A uh, little defensive help doesn't hurt either. No doubt. From Kiki Jones. A huge solo block for Jones. Didn't look like she had the advantage on that play either. Yeah, so look at this. Uh, she is trying to go to the right back and Kiki just gets her hands in her airspace and takes that away. Good serve again from Neal. Set to the outside, Rolfson and uh, that one touched off the block. Confused the back row. Point Nebraska. They got the Libra, Carly Kramer, and Amanda Neal trying to decide who's going to get that ball. And ultimately, it's everybody's ball uh, if it hits the floor. So a little miscommunication there costs another point. Wide set to Nickel off the block. Point Purdue. This is an area where Val Nickel has improved a lot over the course of the year. You'll see this. First few games of the season, Val Nickel doesn't take this swing. She rolls shots at her, tries to put a, you know, some off speed on it, try to hit a shot. That time she just plows it. A uh, real big, big arm for her late in the season here has uh, helped Purdue to stay in some matches. Got to be one of the best utility players in the country, I would think, with uh, with her setting ability and then uh, among the team leaders in kills. Well, that's in, why Val Nickel's playing the A2 national team in the summertime is. Uh, you know, as far as having a five-tool athlete on the floor, she's the only player that plays all six rotations for Purdue. Serve to Neal, quick set. 
Beautiful read there by Rachel Davis, and Adelaja pays it off. Yeah, Adelaja, a good swing there in the middle. Get that ball hands out of bounds. So right up the gut, she's going away from you. Double block there, and gets it. So good luck. And Purdue's block uh, returns the favor. Yeah, really good job from Rolfson hitting the seam there. That was a quicker set, a little bit uh, faster on the tempo. Now, when a lot of teams are going to that is instead of a really high ball outside, they're trying to set a tempo set out there just to make it that much harder for the middle blockers to close. Double hit is called in, uh, or excuse me, a lift is called. And Johnny Shondell is incensed on the bench for the Boilermakers. You can see him there in the background. Now uh, older brother Dave getting in on the action too. Yeah, the official really tight on the hands calls tonight. Uh, that's a, the second hands call, I believe, on Val Nichols so far. And uh, Purdue just with a free ball over. Nebraska's probably going to make him. Well, I thought you were right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, Nebraska had it going, but uh, Rabarcha guessed right, and uh, she got the stuff block. So Nebraska missing an opportunity there to uh, get a point off of a free ball. He keeps it close. Nebraska's had a couple chances to put a little distance between these two. And uh, the Boilermakers keeping it, uh, keeping it tight, a two-point game right now. So this is what you want if you're Purdue late in the set. That ball hit the floor. Yeah, uh, looked like Purdue front row knew it as well, and now a lift is called. Yeah. And, so and, and they I missed the call, but got it right in the end. <laughs> Based on two of the hands calls so far, the, the, the sense from the Purdue bench right now is the up official is struggling. So they're going to uh, play that up as much as possible, but another point there for Purdue on the overpass and uh, kind of get the feeling that this one, first set here is going to go to who has the most guts. And that was a gutsy choice there by Val Nickel to, to set it over. Yeah, that's a pretty gutsy play. So Purdue on the, on the good end of that one. Wide set to Rolfson. Big swing off the Purdue dig attempt. And good for a point, Nebraska. Yeah, Rolfson, uh, real big arm deep in the court. That's a really hard ball to dig deep in the five zone there. All the way back, that's coming right at your neck. So. Hard to get a beat on that one. Good swing there from Epinesa right in the, in the seam. Good dig by Kramer, keeps it in as well. Nebraska with another shot. Out of bounds. And they're gonna call a touch, they delayed. Uh, now uh, Shondell's saying, uh, if, if we're getting called for the double hits and the lifts, why isn't it going both ways? And uh, we're going to have a timeout for Purdue. Try and stave off the Nebraska momentum and uh, give them a few more seconds to, to chew on the refs here. <laughs> yeah, it's called the timeout before the timeout. Yes. That's what that is. Let's, let's take a timeout to avoid a yellow card. <laughs> we will take a timeout as well. Purdue trails 20 to 16. Well, we were talking before the break about how Purdue was keeping it close. Nebraska with their biggest lead of the first set at 2016. And it will be Justine Wong Arantes with the serve. Big swing. A yeah, good swing there from Epinesa. Off speed there from Nebraska. Purdue picked that up normally. Epinesa, another big swing. And uh, student section gets that one. So uh, Purdue, as a general rule, will pick up a lot of those off-speed tips, especially D Dave Shondell works a ton in practice and in the off-season on defense, especially players taking up a lot of space. So Purdue really good defensively and able to pick those up. But Robinson, again, big swing from the back row for Nebraska, dug up by Rabarczyk. Rabarczyk, meanwhile, serving for Purdue and a big block from Kiki Jones. Yeah, Rolfson. On the outside there, uh, that's number six. Katie had no idea that Kiki was right there. Val Nickel had peeled off, and Kiki Jones got her good. So uh, Nebraska with a quick timeout. Purdue, two quick points. 
Two quick points back to within two, and uh, we'll keep it right here. Uh, Catherine Ravarchek, her first rotation, Shondell brings her out in favor of Rachel Davis to serve. This time, maybe you need that big spark from a big swinging serve, a very dangerous serve from Ravarchek. Now, that danger, like we said, goes both ways. You know, sometimes she misses, but she misses big. She's uh, she, she's also capable of getting hot in service of daggers. Yeah, it's, it's high risk, high reward. So, you know, I, I think if you look at the situation Purdue's in right now, if they're wanting to get in the NCAA tournament, they need this one tonight, and they need it in a bad way. And, you know, Kat Rabarczyk going back to the line at 18-20, 17-20, she can go back there and serve this thing out. I mean, it, she is totally capable of doing that. She could go back there and rip the first one in the net. <laughs> but if you're going to go big, you better go big. So I think Coach Shondell is encouraging his team, hey, let's go out there and, and, and roll the dice and see what happens. Nothing to lose at this point for Purdue. You know, Purdue, Nebraska number six in the country. You know, John Cook calling that timeout, no doubt to, you know, stop some momentum, but to ice Cat Rabarczyk too. But who knows, that, that could fire up too. So can go a lot of different ways. Her next swing is a big one as well. Cross court attempt, and uh, that one goes wide. Point Purdue, three you know, straight for the Boilermakers. And you don't, you don't really, you don't give assist to assist on blocks. But I gotta say, that Kiki Jones was over there on the on the other side again, and, and Rolfson still might have that in her head from the swing before. So same set. That one dug by Rabarczyk. Nickel able to get it over. And another point, Purdue. Four straight for the Boilermakers. <laughs> Quite a redirect there by yeah, Nickel. Yeah. I, I don't think the official was going to call anything uh, in, in that sense, but uh, Nickel did hold on to that one for a little bit. You know, longer than probably should have, but uh, no, no doubt uh, gets the point. But That went off the block. Kramer to Nickel. Nickel wide to Epinesa. Robinson, good dig in the back row. Here she comes from the pipe and has to uh, play it just over. Kind of a bad set there from the Nebraska side, but Epinesa, great swing into the cross court. To Robinson again, uh, she's got a cannon. 50-50 battle at the net, won by the Boilermakers. Yeah, and Purdue uh, fighting hard for every point here. Coach Ondell said, let's go. I don't think Nebraska knew that was gonna come on their side a little bit later for the replay, but um, that ball actually, I think they were thinking it was gonna be a little more 50-50 than what it was, and I think the ball actually got way over on Nebraska's side and they didn't even they didn't even know it was over there until it was too late. So uh, Nebraska helping them out a little bit on the on the 50-50 ball. Five straight for the Boilermakers, including four Rabarczyk service points. Free ball over and uh, the free ball caught Purdue off guard. Cheap point for Nebraska. Yeah, so Purdue climbs all the way back in up one and then uh, Nebraska ties it up. Historically, Nebraska is one of the best blocking teams in the country every year. And uh, Purdue, their defense has brought them back in this thing. So all tied up at 21, and the student section is uh, being loud and clear back there for uh, Purdue. Paul Miller to serve. Nickel to Epinesa, off hands. Epinesa, the 50-50 ball. And that one... A nice swing by Katie Rolfson, point for the Cornhuskers. Yeah, really heavy ball there hit by Rolfson. Whenever you see a ball fly hands high out of bounds in the back of the court, that ball had a lot of zip on it. And uh, Rolfson really got on top of that one and uh, put that one out of reach for the Boilermakers. So one of the Rolfsons getting it done. And another service error. That's uh, at least the third for the Cornhuskers, three points. Not something you can give up on the road. They've, uh, well, we've seen uh, each team give up their share of free points. Uh, some sloppiness both ways, 22 all. Yeah, not, not a service there you want to have late in the set there to give it back to Purdue, but Amanda Neal, who had an ace earlier in the set, goes back to serve again. And uh, not a great pass from Nebraska, but good enough. And that well, one goes long, off a touch for Purdue. I missed that uh, touch. Shondell not. Not too boisterous in, in his, uh, let's see a replay of it here. Yeah, ball landed in the court, so. I thought it was, uh, okay, it was landed in, yeah, it point, was, it point was, for the Huskers. Yeah, it, it was in barely, um, but uh, 
triple block there. Rolfson, both of both of those Rolfson sisters hit an extremely heavy ball, extremely heavy ball. Purdue uh, trails 22-23. Timeout for Shondell, his last of the set. We'll be right back with the uh, hopefully the conclusion of set number one. We are back, Nebraska 23-22. Katie Rolfson with the serve, and it goes long. Josh uh, called it during the break. The way Nebraska's serving their fourth service error of the set. See what the Boilermakers do with that gift. Two points away from stealing set number one. Kiki Jones on the serve. Yeah, outside hitter for Robinson right here from Nebraska, I would bet, is going to get this ball. Yep. Absolutely, and Fayette Elijah all over it. Purdue gets the block, but a uh, pretty easy call with the pass, and uh, Robinson just rips it right into the block. Nebraska unable to come up with it, so Purdue now up one. Set is in the balance. It absolutely is. This is, uh, this is where you earn your scholarship money, 24-23 in set number one. Let's talk about that block a little bit. Probably uh, Purdue's best defensive front row player right now, Fayette Elijah and all season long, really, to have her in that position, in that rotation uh, with Robinson coming up on the outside, very important placement for the Boilermakers. Yeah, and a lot of it is game planning, too, and, and here's what you like to talk about in a timeout. You know, if you've got the serve, you want to get a pass to make them one-dimensional. So, you know, it could be, hey, we're going to serve so-and-so because we know that 80% of the time when she passes, She's going to pass in front of the setter, and when the setter gets a, a pass in front of her, she's going outside. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your blockers loose and say, hey, gang up on there. If anybody else gets it, we don't care. But she's not going to beat us. You know, it could have been that situation for Purdue, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you can make all the game plan in the world, but the players have to execute it, and uh, Fan Elijah did just that right then. Kiki Jones back to try and serve out the set 24-23. Lead for the Boilermakers. Big swing by Robinson. Off the block again. Kept alive by Purdue. Can't quite get it over. That one uh, almost a very lucky bounce. Just couldn't quite finish it off. Yeah, that was pretty exciting right there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that ball to come up. And uh, all of a sudden, there it goes. I think Amanda Neal actually kicked it. I think she did. <laughs> Little scorpion kick. Which is, legal, all. which is legal in the sport of volleyball now. Didn't used to be. Outside set to Nickel. She just goes up over the block. Yeah, Nickel just great swing right there. If you look at the replay, I don't know if they're going to give us replay. There's a big seam. Middle doesn't close again for Nebraska. Ball goes right in between them at the very top of the hands and uh, hits the floor. So another great swing to the situation for Val Nickel. Another set point for the Boilermakers. Nickel with the serve. Robinson with the swing. Takes something off it. Drews. Davis back set to Nickel. Nickel, perfect shot over set one to the Boilermakers. Yeah, right now, of the last five sets that Purdue has played against Nebraska, they won four of them. So right now, there's some teams that just kind of have your number. And right now, Boilermakers have Nebraska's number. The Boilermakers take set one, 26-24. Now, we, we have seen this from Purdue a couple times this year. Purdue took uh, the opening set off of USC all the way back in August to open the season and then and then fell in four. Uh, Purdue also took, if I'm not mistaken, the opening set against Penn State when uh, when they were here. Went to five. And then the Nittany Lions fought back. That one went to five. And uh, it was really there the whole night for the Boilermakers to take. Uh, we'll see how they adjust here. Uh, we talk in the open. This is not a team that's been playing particularly well, but my, oh, my, if they can use that first set to build on, uh, it could really turn things around for the season. Yeah, well, we talked to, before the broadcast uh, which Purdue is going to show up tonight. Is it going to be Purdue A or Purdue B? And, uh, you know, we've seen the Purdue B struggle against teams that even get beat by, you know, Northwestern and, you know, teams like that. Well, you know, the Purdue A comes out and goes five with Penn State and then beats Nebraska at Nebraska, which... 
rarely ever happens. Yeah, you don't I, do you that. You probably count on two hands the number of times in 14 years John Cook has ever lost at home, especially to a conference opponent. When they were in the Big 12, John Cook went like 10 years and lost three matches at home, okay? <laughs> so, I, I mean, Nebraska losing in Nebraska to a conference team, rarely, it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. So, you know, who's going to show up for Purdue? Are, are, are they going to collectively show up? And then personally, are they going to show up? Which which players are going to be the ones? In, uh, in set number one, it was really a, a great comeback effort for Purdue. They were down 20-16 to 16 at one point and uh, outscored the Huskers 10-4 to 4 down the stretch. <laughs> Got a break there. Fayette Alaza with a kind of a big swing right into the tape and it just trickles over for a point. A yeah, good connection there from Val Nickel to uh, Kiki Jones. And uh, some of the stat leaders here in the first set, as far as kills go, Val Nickel getting eight. We talked about the importance of her and just, you know, having a great match for Purdue. It, it, she's their only six rotation player. She, she can do it all. She can set, she can swing, she can play defense, she can serve. Um, you know, so Purdue needs her. She had eight kills in the first set. Okay, so, I mean, she was about half of Purdue's offense. Robarczyk, another one who had a great first set. Four kills for her. She had 800, no, no swing errors, which is another big deal for Purdue. Kat Robarczyk, no swing errors in a set. That's, that's historic, all right? So, <laughs> you know, I mean, her having a good match and then, you know, Nickel on top of that, you know, Purdue's in good shape. That Rabarczyk serve goes uh, straight into the net. Good of her to wait until set two for the service error. Yep. Service error in set one, probably set one goes the other way. Although Purdue did give Nebraska four net errors, you know, in, in the first set. So uh, Nebraska kind of evened that out with uh, service errors in the in the second half of the set. So, you know, Purdue, Purdue it, it seems like, you know, beginning of the set, you're going to see here, not a great swing from Nickel, but they're not going to light the world on fire in the first 10, 10 points, all right? It's almost like we gotta, they have to feel like, you know, we're behind, and then we come back. Uh, great swing there from Kiki Jones on the slide. Uh, Robinson trying to get there for the block, but Kiki Jones on a dead sprint just way too fast. Another thing that really stands out, usually, uh, usually in college volleyball, one team hits significantly better or significantly worse than the other. Right. That first set. Uh, Nebraska's at attack percentage 333, Purdue 400. I mean, both teams. Yeah, there was no defense played well. in the first set at all, I don't think. <laughs> so it. Uh, Great job keeping it alive. Free ball over from Carly Kramer. Rolfson, there's the set to Rolfson. Doug by Davis. And uh, just a fantastic block there from Megan Haggerty. She hung up in the air and fingertipped that one back at the Boilermakers Point, Nebraska. Yeah, Megan Haggerty is a really good middle blocker and yeah, I think the argument now is that uh, Nebraska actually hit the net. And uh, after four net calls against Purdue, Dave Sharnell is not going to let this one go. No, he, he's going to chew on this one for a while. And now the, the up official and the down official had disagreed on the call to begin with. That's another point of contention of, of Shondell's. We'll see what their conversation goes well, here. I'm going to make this prediction. If this goes Purdue's way, you're going to see some contention from the Nebraska bench. How yes. about that? John Cook is not going to be happy at all if, if it goes the other way. And it, it's not going to go to no, they're, Purdue they're here. not going to change their mind. So it, it's going to. Shondell still not happy. Now John Cook is, is yelling at the up official anyway for. So th this right here is. Dave Shondell kind of got a timeout without having had to take one there. So, yeah. you know, I mean, when you have Nebraska serving, uh, you know, kind of icing the server a little bit, but. Kramer. Big swing there from Val Nickel, and Nebraska can't keep it alive through the block. Point Purdue. See Nickel here, she delays her jump a bit. That just uh, split, uh, split Megan Haggerty's block right down the middle. There's Jones. Great pass from Nebraska there. Haggerty swings out of bounds. She had the swing. It, it was there. Wide she had, open. She had beat Val Nickel all the way to the pin. 
and she just didn't snap her wrist hard enough, get that ball to come in. But uh, Haggerty, really good swing all but the finish, and uh, ba bad luck there for her. Another good swing by Jones, takes it deep in the zone, uh, deep in the frame actually, and Rolfson makes it all academic as she yep. puts a kill down line. This ball didn't get in by much, I don't think, but she got just enough of it. Rachel Davis is normally pretty good defensively back there, and you kind of let that one go. Kramer, there's Nickel. Now Annie Drews with a big swing off the block. Point Purdue. Annie Drews is at her best when she sees the block in front of her, hits the seam, or swings at that ball that way. High hands, goes out of bounds. Annie Drews, when she gets in big trouble, hits the low hard one right above the tape. And if you're in the Big Ten, that ball's going to get blocked every single time. So Robinson right here didn't get the uh, advantage of a touch, but just hit this and barely out. This ball could have been out by more than a few no. inches. Uh, great swing by her. And Val Nickel, I don't think it wanted any part of trying to dig that ball. So, Luckily luckily for her, she can say, oh, I had yeah. it out all the way. Right. At least that's what she's going to tell the coaches. <laughs> it's serve. Goes long by about a foot. 7-6 Purdue advantage. Amanda Neal, just a uh, just a bad receive there, ace for yeah, Nebraska. I think that was called right from uh, right from the assistant there. They're going right at Amanda Neal. Kind of two and a half passers for Purdue here. We have uh, Amanda Neal and Carly Kramer, uh, and right again they're going right down the middle. Kramer got that one down the line and out of bounds from Babarczyk. She just missed. And uh, Kelly Hunter coming in as a serve specialist right now with an ace and a service winner. Yeah, they're getting exactly what they want right now uh, on the Nebraska side. And a good swing there from Drews to kind of get him out of it. That's another one of those swings you're talking about. She took one on the left side, now she takes one on the right side. High hands, that's her swing that she's the most successful with. When she hits that low one, that ball gets blocked, but she stays high above the net. Uh, she's got a real good shot at getting a kill. Well, that's the thing about Annie Drews as she comes out for a defensive replacement. Uh, she's 6'4 and can elevate. There's no reason to make yourself shorter than you are. At Elijah with a quick touch over on the free ball, point for Dew. There's his 50-50 ball. If any of the ball is in the plane, which based on the replay, I'm not sure any of the ball was in the plane. <laughs> but, just, uh, in a, just one ridge. Yeah, high-level high volleyball. Uh, Based on that, if there's no contention from the other team, you're not going to get that call. Um, and no argument from Nebraska on that. But There we got a big swing from Nebraska. Rolfson evens it back up at nine apiece. Like you said, Purdue with their penchant for starting a bit slow, you got to love being even at this point. Yeah, about a third of the way through here, it's all, all knotted up at nine. Big swing by Rabarczyk there in the middle. I think that's key for her, too, swinging at some someplace other than on a pin. If she gets in the middle off a 32, you know, slightly inside on a two ball like that one, that really helps her out. Another player that benefits from that is Sam Epinesa. Uh, not, a, not a very tall outside hitter in Epinesa, but same type deal. That one goes way long. A tough swing there for Amber Rolfson as Nebraska struggling just to try and keep that one in system. Yeah, Ralston sisters are uh, struggling a little bit here in the early going. Robinson kind of keeping them afloat uh, as their pin attacker. And uh, Robinson wanted to pass that so bad she yes, couldn't stand she it at the very, very late. Uh, pulled her hands back and uh, ball sails out of bounds. So uh, break for the Huskers uh, to get that one back. That one looked almost identical to the previous serve from Kramer, which she did play. Fox, there's Kramer with the set. Epinesa, smart play. Try to tap it over the block. Rolfson, wide and in. Yeah. Ball is going deep into the one zone there. Purdue, that's happened about three times in the match so far. Block is set great. Ball deep into the one zone, and Purdue's got to decide who's going to dig that ball, whether it's going to be Val Nickel, Hillary Fox, or Amanda Neal, whoever's back there. Uh, they just haven't been able to do that yet, and it's really confusing on the defensive end 
Uh, let's see who's going to do that. So Robinson outside takes a little bit off and gets the ball to go down. So uh, Nebraska's kind of rolling here, about a three-point swing. They're back on top, 12-11. Katie Rolfson has a bit of a, you see the replay here, nice bump set to Robinson, like you said, kind of a change up from her. Katie Rolfson with a, an unorthodox serve approach there. There's the slide attack from Jones. Yeah, Kiki Jones just uh, on a dead sprint to the pin, and Robinson had no chance. She's trying to catch up to her, shuffling her feet, and that's just not going to happen. So uh, great swing and set there uh, from Purdue. We've seen Jones on the slide a couple times already tonight. Huge serve from Abarczyk. Big block from Jones. Passed over. Epinesa off the block, out of bounds, point Purdue. I, I think right there you probably, I, I know we've used, you know, the term somebody blows their top, but if Purdue hadn't won that point, great swing from Epinesa there, uh, I think Coach Shondell probably would have blown his top. Right there, uh, another doubles call he thought should have taken place. Um, over... Back row attack is called there on Purdue, and Epinesa still on the floor for the Boilermakers. You do not like to see that. Yeah, I think Epinesa probably landed um, on somebody's foot. I think that's happened. I don't know if we can see a replay on that or not. They are looking um, at her ankle. But uh, she is wearing both ankle braces, uh, which does help in terms of that and the severity of the injury. It's still possible to turn your ankle in one of those things, but, um, you know, we're just hoping that be able to hop up and get back to it. Uh, probably just landed on somebody's foot. A lot of play at the net. And when you get those 50-50 balls like that, it's a pretty dangerous situation for all the athletes. Absolutely. So, uh, so much action going on at the net. And uh, meanwhile, tough point for the Boilermakers to, to lose as well. There's, uh, again, a chance to, to put some distance between the two teams as Epinesa gets a nice round of applause as she walks off with the help of athletic trainer Kara Kessens. Hopefully Sam's okay. Yeah, Sam may not be able to return to the match or, you know, get some ice on it, see what happens, or retape it. But I guarantee you that ankle brace right there saved her from a really severe ankle injury. So you see most of the attackers, there's actually schools that are going to uh, uh, anybody who jumps, uh, they're requiring them to wear them just because of that right there. So uh, the fact that Sam Epines is walking off the floor right now, I was pretty fortunate for Purdue. Justine Wongarantes will start things. Back, Fox, there's Griffin seeing her first action is Katie Griffin with Epinesa's absence, and that one goes cross court. Nice swing there by Katie Rolfson. Yeah, pretty tough situation for Griff. Uh, Griff comes off the bench, and 10 seconds after she comes off the bench, she gets set. So uh, Rolfson, a uh, great swing cross court there to get one for the basket. Beautiful swing by Kiki Jones. I think she's aiming for us over here, Josh. Yeah, Kiki's coming right in our living room here, and uh, <laughs> she's done that a couple times tonight. So uh, scoring points for Purdue. Purdue hanging in there all even at 14. A little over halfway through the set, and they've got to be pleased with where they are, I tell you that. No doubt about it. There's Amanda Neal with the jump. <laughs> and Robinson with a big swing. Purdue cannot keep it alive. It was uh, temporarily dug by the back row, but just dug into a void, point for the Cornhuskers. Yeah, Robinson for uh, Nebraska, has got a huge arm on the outside, the huge point here, right at Kramer, and uh, she got it up, but there's not enough hang time under that ball to do much. Nickel off the block, Kramer keeps it alive, quick over from Davis, smart play, Nebraska scrambling, and uh, Nickel probably stole that one from Kramer. Touched out of bounds, point for the Huskers. Yeah, Val Nickel was actually in, in the process of getting back to defense. And when you're in the process of getting back to defense, if it's hit at you, you, you basically have no chance. So that's what happened right there to her. And um, Nebraska gets the point. Corn Huskers 16-14 here in set number two. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Holloway Gymnasium. The Boilermakers find themselves trailing by a couple here in the second set. But uh, fear not, Purdue fans. They trailed the entire first set up into the 20s before pulling it out late. Slide to Jones, and it's once again successful. You know what? Do that every time. Yeah, Kiki Jones has been a beneficiary of some, some good sets from Val Nichol. She's put it right in the right spot three times in about four rotations now. So Kiki Jones had a great three rotations for Purdue. Nebraska Robinson straight into the block. Not the first time she's been rejected tonight. Huge block from Drews and yeah. Adelaja. Purdue knew exactly where this was going. Setters moving forward. Robinson the only choice for the Nebraska setter. So Purdue able to gang up on the, right, on the left side there and get that one. Down the line goes Jones with that serve. She's set wide to Robinson, kept alive. Good dig there by Nebraska. Robinson again, she can't clear the net. I think that uh, previous block may have lingered just a bit in the back of her mind. Yeah, it, as an outside attacker or any attacker, really you gotta have a short memory. Robinson, I think, still dwelling on that previous block a little bit, so we'll see how they come out of the timeout. Purdue's Three. up one. Three straight points for the Boilermakers. We'll be right back, timeout Nebraska. Popcorn tastes good here at Holloway Gymnasium tonight. Everything uh, tastes good for Purdue fans right now. Purdue up 17-16. Kiki Jones with the service. And just a free ball over. Boilermakers really need to take advantage of this one. Swing from nickel into the block. Point Nebraska. Yeah, in the middle there. Megan Haggerty doing what Megan Haggerty does best. Megan Haggerty blocks a lot of balls, and she got Val Nickel there. So Nebraska really needing one on the defensive end, and she got it. That one kept alive, and uh, probably a bad choice there by Katie Rolfson to get the delayed touch on that. She she kind of uh, she hurt her back row here. Yeah, she punched it up, and the libro there, uh, Wong Orentis. Nickel with the service, Robinson. Quick set to Haggerty, and that one out of bounds. Boy, I'm not sure. That one looked awful close to in from my vantage point. Yeah, that was pretty close to being inbounds. Uh, Haggerty doesn't really get a lot of sets in front of the setter on the one out of server seat. Middle blockers from the other team is typically right there, so don't see that too often, but um, just hit one just wide there. That one perfect long back line. Annie Drews with a kill. Boilermakers with uh, a 6-1 scoring run here. Lead 2017. And we got a timeout for the Cornhuskers. We'll be right back. Twenty to seventeen, Purdue leads. Val Nickel with the serve. She gets a little help from the Boilermaker tape. That one off the block. Neal, Nickel, quick set and perfect kill for Adelaja. Yeah, Adelaja basically going to the deep five zone there. You'll see Haggerty was there. Adelaja just hit it right by her. Haggerty got caught ball watch just a little bit and uh, wasn't able to come up with that one. But trying to tip it over the block gets that one to go down. So. Haggerty running a slide, doesn't run a whole lot of those, but um, getting that one to go down off the off speed. So Nebraska with the ball back, Purdue up 21-18. Haggerty a little late on the slide there, barely got off the floor and it kind of worked in her favor. Yeah, I, I think it actually did help her, you're right. Serve specialist once again. Delay call out, tough call there. And uh, yeah, I can't say I agree with that one. Yeah, last time that came up, Kelly Hunter uh, great server, great deep server. Uh, serves really deep into the floor. And they went after Amanda Neal and did the exact same thing this time. And Amanda Neal, there's nobody happier in this gym right now than that ball flying out than Amanda Neal, I guarantee it, because she had no shot at passing that ball. Quick set, Kramer keeps it alive. Nickel back set to Rabarczyk, who splits the block. Block for the Boilermakers, successful. Nebraska again, Robinson over. Tries the over ball, can't clear Katie Griffin. 
Yeah. Set point for the Boilermakers. Robinson trying to go off speed here. She really didn't get set all the way back to get this ball. It wasn't a great set to begin with. You know, when you're setting a back row player, you want to lead her a little bit, get it in front of the 10-foot line. And uh, the center for Nebraska set it behind the 10-foot line and uh, really disrupted the, the approach pattern of uh, Robinson. So unable to get that one, but a uh, nice swing there by Rolfson outside, hands out of bounds, another really heavy ball from one of the Rolfson sisters. I got ahead of myself saying set point Purdue. It's just 23-19 now for the Boilermakers, and uh, you don't want to fall in the same trap Nebraska had in the first set and let the, uh, let the opposition hang around. Got a replay here. Yeah, one of the Big Ten officials there is uh, talking with the down official. Oh, for the uh, and I think the it rotation. Has to do with, yeah, it's the rotation and the substitutions. I think that Nebraska's uh, it might be the number of substitutions that they have. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Can't imagine they're close to their number of no. substitutions yet. I mean, it way set, too early. Yeah, the set's gone pretty quick, but I mean, I think you're allowed like 63,000. I think to uh, <laughs> that to that may be. Maybe the, a tad high. The but unofficial prob number. But probably not. I, I don't have a rule book in front of me, but I think the official number is 18 now. I think you'd have substitutions in a set. So really the only way you get close to that number is if you go into extra points. Uh, a lot of teams do this now. Nebraska does it. Purdue does it. Uh, substitute basically front row, back row players. So, And now now the substitution happens for the Cornhuskers. Interesting uh, there. The Boilermakers huddled up in the middle of the floor. The Cornhuskers just kind of kind of held in place. Uh, sort of two different approaches yeah, at this point. Nonverbal from each team is really different right now. Um, this is the service received by Fox. Rabarczyk goes down the line. Beautiful tap over the block and ruled out of bounds. I thought she had the line. Yeah, Rabarczyk had that shot open. And uh, Libro from... Nebraska was antip anticipating the off-speed, running forward to get it, and uh, tipped her right by it, just tipped her out of bounds. Beautiful serve down the line. Fox goes to the floor. Cross court for Griffin, and she made a bad call to let that one fall. Got to think we're going to see a timeout here from, from Shondell as yeah, this one's uh, starting to go a little bit sideways. Yeah, he's going to take one here. Katie Griffin decided to let that ball go. She thought it was going to go out of bounds and uh, really wasn't even close. That ball bounced uh, probably about six or seven inches inside the floor, so Purdue really needs a side out here, and uh, I think Purdue is probably caught in a bad rotation. So they've got uh, set her down, but they've got three attackers. One of them is Griffin, who just came in in this set due to the injury to Epinesa. 23-21 after uh, two, straights, two straight points from the Cornhuskers. Purdue cruising right along until they uh, hit a bit of a hiccup here after stealing set one. Haven't yet seen uh, Sam Epinesa return from the locker room. Of course, with the uh, new configuration here at Holloway Gymnasium. And okay, I, uh, I stand corrected. Sam Epinesa is on the sideline for the Boilermakers and still in uniform, like you said, Josh. Not sure if we'll see her again tonight if she just got retaped if uh, how much Dave Shundell is really going to trust her ankle out there right now uh, that, that remains to be seen there Sam great to see her upright you can see her flexing her ankle yeah I, I think it's probably going to depend on how Katie Griffin plays I, I think is, is really whether he tries to see Sam Epinesa or not uh, later on in the set if they can Purdue can uh, steal this one without her yeah that that right there is a big time swim from Kat Rabarczyk. That ball was way out of system. Three blockers for the Huskers and Rabarczyk made probably one of the better swings that she's made all match right there. Set point Purdue, Kramer to serve. It's deep, it's played by Robinson. Quick set, blocked right back to Nebraska. There's the wide set and blocked for the Boilermakers. The block has been fantastic tonight and it pays off once again. See a block there from Rabarczyk and Jones. They get right back on the horse. Kat Rabarczyk pounds it down. Four set point to Boilermakers, 25-21. They're up two sets to nil. We've reached intermission. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Holloway Gymnasium here in West Lafayette where Purdue leads two to nothing against Nebraska. Now currently Nebraska ranks first in the Big Ten in assists and kills and also third in hitting percentage. One key player to keep an eye on for the, for the Cornhuskers is Kelsey Robinson. Currently she's second in kills, tenth in digs, and sixth in hitting percentage. Now this matchup tonight is really showing some of Purdue's strength. Back to you guys. Definitely. Definitely some uh, good play from the Boilermakers here so far tonight. Josh, as they lead two sets to zero, 25-21 there in set number two. And uh, the play of Val Nickel has really, really stood out all evening long. Nickel, 10 kills to go with 15 assists, of course, in her dual role. She is uh, hitting 350 for the Boilermakers, who are uh, over 350 as a team. Kara Barczyk also uh, seven kills, 11 attempts, only two errors. So she's hitting 455. So uh, we talked in the beginning how important Kara Barczyk was to the Purdue offense and what she meant to be out there. And uh, she's proven to be a big factor in tonight's game. So uh, Epinesa is still out for Purdue. Uh, might see Katie Griffin the rest of the way. Uh, still ankle injury there in the second set. So as we get going, uh, Nebraska gets a big swing on the outside. Purdue another block. Beautiful block there. The Purdue defense, the front line has been fantastic here tonight. Six blocks. That's double the number for the Cornhuskers. Yeah, Kat Rebarczyk getting that one on the outside. Trying to go down line was uh, Katie Ralston. Kat Rebarczyk got her. Ralston cross court this time and dug by Kramer. Griffin with a swing off hands. Rabarcha keeps it in for the Boilermakers. Good play. That went off the tape. It didn't go off the block. Four hits is called. Yeah, we're going uh, Nebraska actually sw switched their middles up. Now they've got uh, Ostrander in there, and she gets the slide and never clears the net. So hitting area there for Ostrander. And uh, Nebraska's trying to mix it up with a little different personnel set in the third set to get something different going. Robinson's still swinging from deep in the in the floor on the pipe, and uh, Rabarczyk, uh, same thing for Purdue, never clears the net, so Nebraska getting the ball back. Purdue is up 2-1. Uh, so Cat a little off balance on the set behind here from Val Nickel, and Nebraska gets it back down 2-1 early on. Serve. <clears throat> Good serve there from Hunter once again. Good save from Katie Griffin. Robinson getting a big swing touch. Touch. Off of uh, Kiki Jones, I believe. Okay. To go deep in the floor. Uh, ball went out of bounds, but Kiki Jones getting the touch there. So 2-2 two -two is the score. And uh, Robinson's going to be it the rest of the way for Nebraska. Probably out of every 10 sw swings Nebraska takes, Robinson's probably going to take seven of them. Rabar check. Nothing. Cross court attempt there by Katie Rolfson, and it goes wide. Yeah, Rol Rolfson is just a really frustrated volleyball player right now. Even the, the roll shot she's taking and off speed stuff is still not managing to get into the floor. That ball was really close. So, tough knock for Rolfson. Tough serve from Rabar check. She can't quite dig it off that nice swing. Yeah, so Nebraska switched up both their middles and now they're going with Melanie Keel. So Keel and Ostrander are the two middles now for Nebraska. A switch up from the first two sets. So obviously John Cook not happy with his middles. It's um, a pretty dramatic change. Yeah, switching up both your middles is probably uh, one of the more aggressive personnel moves you can make. Good block there for Purdue. Redirects that ball and keeps it in play temporarily. Double hit on Rachel Davis. Yeah, it looked like Rachel Davis really didn't get her feet set uh, to that ball and tried to jump set it. Uh, a lot of time, Rachel Davis, if you know, she jump sets every ball. Um, you know, that ball wasn't really even close to the net. Uh, just a habit for her to get into. So, Nickel off the triple block. Kept in play. Griffin now will just try getting it over. Wide set again to Griffin, straight into the block. Aggressive attacking front line there for Nebraska. Yeah, Griffin gets the set uh, out of system. And 
this is where Purdue is really going to struggle with their 0-2 is, is Katie Griffin is good in system. Uh, they're going to lose a lot with Epinesa being in the swing as well as she does out of system. And uh, that's where they're going to miss her the most as this match goes along in the third set. So a good set there from Davis and then Kiki Jones just jumped it down to get another point for the Boilermakers. Sort of faked out the block there. Nice serve from Neal. Tough to handle. Big swing dug by Davis. Kramer set to Drews. The lefty with the swing into the block. Now Nickel, and she won't clear the tape. Point Nebraska. Yeah, Purdue's going to stay in this thing. They're going to have to take some better swings out of system. Drew's not a bad swing there, covered well by Purdue. And then Nickel again out of system, just hits a low hard one. Nebraska's going to get that ball most of the time. Uh, a lot of teams in Big Ten are going to be able to block that pretty easy. So a uh, good swing there from Kiki Jones to get one back. Slide attack really fast for Purdue, and uh, Jones on top of one again. Jones will serve. 6-5, Nebraska lead. At Elijah Nickel, and Drew's on the front line. Little change up there from Robinson for the kill. That is her ninth on the match. Yeah, the last two or three that she swung that hard have gotten blocked straight down, so she chooses to go with the off speed there. Middle of the floor, 10 foot line, that's a pretty Pretty weak spot on, on a lot of defenses, especially if you're playing a perimeter type defense, which most teams play. So cross court there from Drews, played by Longarantes. I'm not sure why. It was very clearly going wide. And uh, the Boilermakers make a pay. Yeah, I think Carly Green was trying to uh, compensate for any Drews is left-handed, so anything set inside is not gonna help her. So she just pushed it way outside. Looked like it was gonna go to about the third row. So Got it. Nickel with a nice serve. <laughs> Beautiful set to Rolfson, and Amber Rolfson pounds it home. Yeah, Amber Rolfson, a great swing there, and she was aided by the fact that Tara Barton had no idea where Rolfson was. She completely ball watched, and uh, Rabarczyk just didn't really make a great effort on that. Uh, stuck her hands up, but Rolfson way too good of a swinger to let that one go. Nickel with a perfect set to Rabarczyk. And Rabarczyk's going to kill that about 90% uh, of the time. Yeah, this one, again, you can see this one was set inside on purpose, and Rabarczyk just rips it. Rolfson, uh, not up there, actually that was the setter, uh, who was blocking there, Romo, uh, had no idea where Rabarczyk was. Uh, a lot of times as a blocker, general rule is never watch the ball, always watch people. And when you, when you get caught watching the ball, another block there from Purdue, great eye sequence there. But if you're caught watching the ball, you're probably going to miss it. And uh, Purdue lined up the attacker, kind of like taking a charge in basketball if you're one on one. Wherever that player's going to go, if they're going to run straight through the net, you want to take that charge and get in front of them. That's going to be the best way to do it. And Purdue demonstrates that really well right there. Haggerty comes back in in the middle for Ostrander. So John Cook has abandoned that uh, personnel change already. Beautiful dig there by Kramer on the over. Swing is long from Griffin, but touched, point Purdue. Yeah, that's great replay there, and this is where Katie Griffin makes her money. High hands, out of bounds. She's not gonna hit the ball to the 10-foot line, but that swing right there is gonna score points all night long if she can continue to make it. Tough serve from Fox, good dig by Kramer. Well, she got her hands on it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> She did get her hands up, uh, which prevents her from getting hit in the face. Uh, That's important. Really physical player there uh, for Nebraska. At Elijah with a quick set. We've seen that, uh, oh, about a half a dozen times tonight, and Fayette Elijah has five kills. That's no coincidence. At Elijah, again, setting away from the setter, Val Nickel. Gets another one, so she's, she's still happy about that. Kramer, nice serve, just clears the net. 50-50 ball, won by Nebraska. Purdue keeps it alive. Smart play there by Griffin. Rolfson blocked right back down the line, and she will get another crack at it cross court. Kramer, nickel, back set. 
to Rabarczyk, point Purdue. Yeah, Rabarczyk, if you look, if you were to look back at this entire sequence, Rabarczyk did a good job getting back in uh, transition. Rabarczyk did a great job on two consecutive plays with the block. One she crushed, one she didn't, but she directed the ball to the defense to be dug by an elite defensive player in Carly Kramer, and then she gets the kill at the end of the play. So three great plays in one rally for Kat Rabarczyk making up for the errors she made earlier in the in the set on that block miss she got. Block kept alive by Kramer. Fox probably went to the wrong place, but Purdue able to stay alive. Scrappy play by the Boilermakers. Big swing blocked by Jones. Two hits is called. Point Purdue. Sometimes the volley gods are just on your side. Yeah, I, I tell you what. There's really no volleyball reason why Purdue should have won this point, but they did. And, uh, and Nebraska gets the lift call, but yeah, Purdue, it just, it just went their way that time. That's all you can say about that. Tough touch over there by Haggerty. Kramer sets for a bar check. Dug by Longarante. <laughs> Foxy couldn't quite get on that one. 12-10 Purdue. Tell you what, the last two swings from Kat Rabarczyk have been absolute scud missiles. She, when Kat Rabarczyk for Purdue is feeling it, you can tell in the way she swings. And the last two swings that she's taken, she's really felt it. Nebraska got the dig on that one. Uh, but she's feeling it uh, for Purdue right now. Griffin, great swing down the line. Uh, Katie Griffin is probably one of the best in the Big Ten at looking angle and then turning uh, nothing but her arm and swinging line. So everybody in the gym thinks she's going angle and then she turns her, her hand at the last minute and swings down line and it really caught Nebraska by surprise. Had a lot of line to work with there. She was about uh, six feet in from the line. So you can really take some chances. Yep. Rachel Davis with the serve. Robinson, quick over and uh, misplay there by Paul Miller. You could thought she just put too much on it. And uh, you see the replay there. She just lifts it, and that missed by a couple feet. Yeah, Paul Miller just trying to get a little aggressive there and score some points. The team needs it. So trying to be a leader, trying to get some points going, and uh, just missed. When Four I say just missed, I mean three feet. Just missed by, uh, by a good little margin. 14-10, Purdue leads. Timeout, Nebraska. We'll be right back. Fourteen ten, Purdue. Josh, we're talking during the break about the game of Catherine Rabarczyk, who happens to not be on the floor right now for Purdue. She's yeah, she, uh, important. She just, yeah, she rotated back, and uh, they had Rachel Davis serve. I think Catherine Rabarczyk missed her last serve, so mm -hmm. that's probably the game that he's playing right now. Is who's the better server? Uh, is it Cat Rabarczyk or is it Rachel Davis? And uh, everything's really going Purdue's way in terms of uh, getting the, you know, the in between points, the fifty fifty balls, and all that stuff. And uh, good rally here, and Robinson finally um, getting the back row attack. Griffin again, trying to keep it alive. Great point from both teams, and Nickel takes that one off the block, out of bounds. Five point lead for the Boilermakers. Yeah, it's uh, Kat Rabarczyk, when she's feeling it for Purdue, she takes some of the best swings in the Big Ten. I mean, she was freshman of the year in Big Ten two years ago and uh, kind of burst onto the scene and nobody really knew who she was and where, where she came from, but uh, really made a lot of noise early. And um, you know, now Kat Rabarczyk, when she feels it, Purdue plays well. I mean, there was a stretch there where they beat 17, number 17, Michigan State and Nebraska at Nebraska. So, and Rabarczyk was their best player, you pointed out, you know, during that stretch. So um, really great player for Purdue. Back row from Robinson. It's about the uh, only option the Huskers have right now, down six. Yeah, Robinson again, she's gonna get a lot of swings from the pipe the rest of the way when she's in the back row. So great dig there by Davis. Great coverage for Purdue, and Griffin gets it, hits it deep. Good opportunity for the Huskers here. Yeah. Able to get it up, a lot of scrappy play, but uh, Nebraska eventually wins that one. So. Uh, Purdue defensively really, really good right now. Nebraska really good defensively. Uh, so 
A lot of great volleyball here in the uh, boiler box tonight. Absolutely. And as, uh, as crazy as that point got, you know, it almost had to end with the Nebraska point. Yeah, they kind of deserved to win that one. Yeah. Uh, you know, after you dig about four or five balls the way they did, you, you kind of, you, you, you hope you get that one. And uh, ball just goes long. Hillary Fox moved in a, in a way I didn't know the human body was possible to get out of the way of that ball. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to see a replay on that, but I, I don't know how she got out of the way of that ball, but she did. She uh, looked she, like a contortionist. Yeah, her version of the Matrix there. 17-11, <laughs> Purdue is absolutely rolling right now. Amanda Neal with the service. That one long as well. Seven-point lead for the Boilermakers. How much longer does John Cook let this thing go before he uses his last time out? Yeah, Nebraska was really looking for a touch on that, but when you hit a ball eight feet out of bounds uh, with topspin, you're probably not going to get that call. Um, Ace from Neal, her second of the match. And uh, now Cook will take that timeout, it looks like, yes. Timeout number two, Nebraska. I'll tell you what, Josh, uh, some teams beat Nebraska, it's not very often they get swept. And uh, the Boilermakers, that's a very real possibility, up 19-11 here in set number three. Yeah, it, Nebraska getting beat by the same team twice in a year, doesn't happen very often. Uh, this one's not over yet. Uh, but 19-11, Purdue. Um, you know, Purdue does have that freak out factor, you know, where, you know, last week Purdue's up 16-5 at Northwestern, you know, and wind up losing that set on almost this exact situation yes. where Northwestern calls a timeout, Purdue's up 16-5. Ten minutes later, they lose the set. So I don't know what happens in those timeouts for the Boilermakers, but something does. Yeah. And, it's not, and it's not positive. So, you know, I mean, John Cook just trying to stop all, any bleeding that, can, that he can right now for Nebraska. They switched their middles, then they went back to Haggerty trying to get some lineup changes. The thing that's hamstringing them right now is their best player, Robinson, is in the back row, and she's, she's not shy about taking swings from the back row. They're just not as high percentage as they are in the front row. So, you know, both Rolfson sisters are, are struggling a little bit tonight which doesn't help Nebraska at all. And Purdue's just playing out of their minds. Amanda Neal with the serve. That one out of bounds as it's the second point in this, in this run that has gone down the tape and ridden the tape too long to come down for Nebraska. Yeah, Kelsey fine that time. I think he's probably just about every player that is that is eligible to play, has played for Nebraska tonight, at least a lot of attackers, trying to find some way to get a kill, and Purdue just keeps digging them up. And uh, Purdue wanting to touch on that ball. Val Nickel just, just missed that one long. Great swing in transition. Uh, great dig there from Rachel Davis. Uh, not often you have a setter who contends for the lead in digs for your team on the night, but night in, night out, Rachel Davis really does that for Purdue. So. If you look at a stat line, Rachel Davis can have almost as many digs as the Libro for most teams. So good defensive uh, setter for the Boilermakers. Another good reason to have her in in the serve rotation. Another dig there from Rachel Davis. So she does it all defensively for them. Roll shot at a system here for Nebraska. Trying to get something going. Uh, two players touched that. And uh, that ball was going way long. And uh, Nebraska just got a gift right there. 20 to 13, Nebraska needs all the gifts they can get and uh, their toughest server on the night, Katie Rolfsen is up, cross court from Jones. Robinson splits the block point for the Huskers. Yeah, Kiki Jones had the responsibility of closing the block there at a system. Really no excuse for not doing that. Uh, ball was obviously going to Robinson on the outside and Kiki just got a little bit lazy there. Uh, didn't close the block, and that's exactly where it went is the seam, so. Rolfson short, middle set to Drews, and she catches the back line. If uh, this were baseball, you'd have seen Gus fly up on that one. There yeah, right that, that was there. Uh, I think we might have got a touch on that, not for sure, but, um, you know, that ball landed really deep in the floor. No chance to dig any of that. Uh, good swings from Drews 
when she gets it in the middle of the floor. Purdue unable to close the block in time there. Nebraska with the kill. The Boilermakers are okay with a side out game at this point, but uh, they need to guard against the runs. Nebraska got three on their last service. Let's see what they do here. Cross court played by Adelaja. Killed by Nickel. Her 12th of the match. Yeah, so Nickel on fire right now uh, for Purdue. Great set by Rachel Davis. All three attackers up and just unable to close the block for Nebraska. So Haggerty is back in there again, trying to make something happen in the middle. And uh, another pass out of bounds. And uh, Rolfson, if you look at the body language from Rolfson, you know, she's passing in the middle of the floor and just hung her head kind of after that one. You know, I mean, you have to have a short memory and it's just not going right uh, for her tonight. And um, another huge block. Yeah. And match point, Purdue. Yeah, everything is going right for the Boilermakers right now. So a great block from Rabarczyk, just going up and getting it. Robinson gets it through the block. Good deal, dig from Neal there. Cruz, another into block, the block from... and it is on the line. Point for the Huskers. That yeah. one did not end by much. So match point number two. Yeah, so Nebraska's gonna have to run eight straight here to stay in the match. Purdue sides out one time before then. My ball. And there it is, service error. Match to the Boilermakers for the second time in three years. They have swept the Huskers here on the home boards. Purdue takes the match. 26-24, 25-21. 25-16. And that one, uh, the ball never, never really in the frame. That's how far it was out. A good read is made by the Boilermaker defense. Josh, we talk all the time about how this team, you never know which one's going to show up. Uh, Purdue A definitely showed up here tonight. Yeah, Purdue A for sure. Uh, Nebraska definitely not expecting what they got from the Boilermakers tonight. But uh, about as good as Purdue can play, that's what they did tonight and uh, they came out of here with a win. Going forward, this, uh, this win certainly does a lot for Purdue and their postseason hopes. You gotta think they're, uh, they're pretty firmly in the NCAA tournament with uh, another top 10 win. Um, beyond that, uh, a lot of momentum here with just three regular season matches left. Yeah, I gotta tell you, you know, the NCAA regional committee and the national committee and stuff, when they get inside that room, you really never know what's gonna happen, but you got to think that this really does a lot for Purdue's postseason chances for sure when it comes down to the selection committee deciding who's in and who's out. So, you know, Purdue's second win against a, a top 10 opponent uh, this year definitely um, made their case for being it tonight. I'm here with Kiki Jones of the Boilermakers. What does this victory tonight mean for you and your team? Um, I think that that shows that we're just doing so well as a team and we had kind of a slump in the last couple of weeks, but I think that that shows that we're still in this game and that we're gonna push really hard. Now, what was going through your mind to keep you going, keep you strong throughout each set? Um, I just really wanted to work hard for my teammates and my coaches. Um, we kind of had like a rough stretch, like I said before, but um, we all knew that we wanted to go far and that we had the athletes and the ability to get far in the tournament. And so we just wanted to win this game, finally be able to be eligible for, for getting into the tournament and win it for everyone. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to you guys. So the Boilermakers with a 3-0 sweep here and uh, we're gonna sign off. Thanks again for joining us. It's a quick night, we can all go home early. Purdue victorious, three sets to zero.